have fallen into my trap. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's Mac, back with another statue unboxing and review. Today we have the uh, Prime One Studios uh, Catwoman exclusive. So in normal fashion, let's go ahead and get this box open and see what we got inside. Before I open this up, just wanted to show you guys, they sent this uh, Catwoman statue with some supreme care. It's got like these hard outer cardboard kind of protected layers running all throughout the sides of the uh, box on top, on the bottom and everything. So we're trying to keep this thing safe uh, during shipment process. So that's one thing to note. Be happy about that. You will go to jail and I will get rich. So we got the art box out and it's pretty cool. Um, I do like the size of this because it's um, quite small. Um, it's heavy, uh, but it is a, a smaller footprint box. The one thing that is new for me is that they've got a Prime One Studio uh, piece that actually lists uh, the artists and the sculptors on the side. So you got Stefferson Roca, you got Bruno Zor Zorzi, art director Bernardo Cruzero, and creative director John Pham, or Johnny Pham, we all know who that is. And then uh, covered art and design, Prime One Studio Design and Paint and Development Team. So, very cool, like to see that on there, showing uh, the artist some love. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this box opened up. As you know, we always gotta do a little bit of knife action. Okay, so pulling up the top layer, we have our protected silky smooth cloth. Goes nice with this uh, cat woman. So we have her uh, body. And one of her arms. head sculpts. And then we have some the other head sculpts here on the other side. I think this is the whip. It's actually made out of real leather, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Pull this out in normal fashion and get onto the second layer. Alright, so I'm covering the second layer. So we have the base. Couple arm sculpts. Pull this one. This is the whip attachment arm. And here's the sculpted whip. Another arm. So let's pull the rest of that stuff out. And then the base, we'll go ahead and just pull this out. So it looks like they have some styrofoam in between these little rails here, uh, pipes, which I haven't really seen before. Here's the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of it out like I normally do, put it on the table and get it all assembled. Okay, so we got everything laid out as you can see. Um, we have our assembly, instru assembly instructions 
And then they also have some removal instructions uh, for this piece as well. Uh, not a lot of pieces, but you know, there's a few. And then you have our 2019 Prime One calendar, which we get pretty much all the time. I think I have like 50 of these. <laughs> and then uh, we have a little bit more promotional stuff here. So as you can see, we have Catwoman there, Azrael, Red Hood, and the uh, white version of the Batman um, Beyond. So, oh, and then you have the damaged version of Batman, Scarecrow, Harley Quinn, and then the Arkham Joker, which we have. So make sure you check that out. I have a unboxing interview on that as well. All right, so putting this thing together, um, we have a peg on the top of the base, and then you have her body. So there's a peg here. I believe she's gonna sit like she's in the base, very flush. they have going on is this uh, little necklace from the game that she had a little blow up C4 bomb stuff so it just kind of shows in the picture that this is kind of sitting on it until you actually put the head sculpt in Actually, the next step is to put the head sculpt in, so we'll go ahead and throw that on. Let's go for the regular portrait. attaching the whip so it's uh, posable and real leather like I stated before and then it has a little um, magnet or key which of course you plug in to her outstretched hand. I have the wrong arm in, so we can switch that out because we know we're going to have to change that. kind of a pain in the ass <laughs> looks ridiculous right now but it's kind of funny but I'll get it right so I got it all situated the way that it's supposed to look the way that I think it looks pretty good so I'll show you guys that the way before it was cracking me up 
kind of the way it was posed. But uh, this is looking pretty nice. So the next kind of part that you'll install is this uh, little whip holder. It has a little cat emblem and it just uh, fits in her uh, right thigh right here. So this is basically uh, one whole pose uh, for the statue. Um, the next switch outs you have to remove the arms and the whip because they come with different uh, switch outs. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. So we'll go ahead and take the um, whip it. Pose off. That's what I'm going to call it, the whip it pose. You have the diamond or a gem or a ruby holding hand. open hand like so and then so you'll take this off because of course she doesn't have her whip and it has the sculpted whip which of course goes like here. so switch the head, head sculpts. Now, the thing I did like and didn't notice until like I got the box open and I got everything out is that they actually sit, ship these uh, with uh, little head sculpt stains. So, I'll have those out. It's going to take the uh, regular portrait off. And you want to be careful when you remove this because this is kind of just laying up there so it could fall off and very strong magnet in those um, head sculpt holders. Pretty cool. They should send this on a lot more of their pieces. So this is the exclusive, so we'll go ahead and throw that on with the goggles. That's a pretty cool look. They have a little damage uh, detail on her. And I think that's actually huge damage on all of these, so yeah but pretty cool with the goggles now. So if you don't have to, of course, uh, display her with the uh, little bomb. So you have the exclusive head sculpt. And, uh, you know, basically this uh, statue is together. Um, once you just switch the arms and the uh, whip out. And you just want to be careful moving it around because these are not held in by any type of magnets. Um, so these could fall out if you try to pick it up and move it. I mean, I'm sure that they're not um, real. Um, Lady Max says that they're uh, sapphire, um, ruby, and whatever this is. Clear. Ladies like these things. Go buy them some. But yeah. Um, this piece is all together. So I'm going to take a look at it, maybe switch 
the portraits out, stare at it a little bit, and see how um, I like it and come back with a review for you guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna talk about this piece, review time, as we do normally. Um, I like this piece. Um, it follows the line, the Arkham line, uh, to a T. The bases are all, you know, basically the same as far as color-wise. This one, of course, has uh, the uh, the cats on the bottom, but you know, it's got the bat symbol right here um, on the sides of the. Uh, well, I'm gonna say that maybe I think that you know what that's the back of the statue, so um, because it's different. Like the all the rest of them have um, the um, bat symbol on the back, so. Um, so this is would be the front, the front pose, or position. So, um, like I said, we got uh, these little rustic uh, iron type cats on the uh, base. You have a up rooftop type uh, detail that uh, the rest of the line follows. Uh, very cool uh, weathering effect um, on the uh, the base. You have these pipes. And like they, when they shipped this, they came. All these pieces uh, came uh, with uh, styrofoam throughout it to keep it uh, safe when uh, moving uh, or in transit or just while in storage. So that was cool. Um, the colors on it, the grays. It's got like this little white, like stone, um, dirt, worn detail on top, which is looking pretty good. And the golds look very nice. There's no paint runs. And then um, the colors, like I said, they're about the same. Um, weathering, shadowing is done nicely. Um, up to the, um, the statue now. Um, the leather boots and uh, her buckles and the weathering and leathering look is done very well I do like how they've got the it's just not like a straight black costume they've got uh, some like dark grays and white specks or specks throughout it and then throughout uh, the boots you can see the different texture um, going upwards and on her leg right here you have like like a shiny leather texture right here which is definitely different from the rest of the uh, costume and then on the inside of her legs you have this um, um, kind of gritty leather texture it really feels like leather even though we know it's not it's all sculpted but uh, it's done very well going upwards um, you have the, the cakes cakes are done nice leather cakes all cakes pretty good <laughs> then you have uh, this little uh, whip holder which I think is maybe I don't know I'm not gonna press on it but I would say it's PVC but this is a sideshow not a dig but um, it could be plastic or plastic is PVC basically <laughs> the uh, torso um, detail the sculpt is done uh, nice. I like how it's uh, she's uh, you know got her body angled uh, to the right and then curving up. The costume follows that way as well so with her uh, leather straps and her uh, cat um, buckle detail. Um, I do like the detail of the different uh, like the shiny leather portions like from the sides or the back of her uh, costume here and over here flow throughout the rest of the piece all the way up to like her back her shoulders and all the way around and then I like how it actually hides the seams too so that's done very well so if you look the arm connects here but um, they use that uh, kind of shiny uh, seal and costume detail to kind of hide that so that's done very well same on this side 
um, the zipper going up towards her uh, her chest area. Pretty cool. And then you have that translucent resin going all the way up. I like the um, the bomb that's around her neck. I like how you can remove it so it's not 100% that you have to keep it on there. Um, I did switch this uh, portrait, the portrait out for the review to the um, smirking portrait. I like the uh, damage detail on her face. You know, like a little red kind of blemish and bruising. And then on this side you have like a little bit more dirt and a little kind of blood on the top. And then on the back of her uh, head sculpt, you have her hair that's kind of pushed down, which is done nicely. Kind of simulates, um, of course, that um, her mask pushing her hair down. I like the portraits on this. The only thing that uh, I would say would be nice is if they, out of the three portraits that, that they off, that they uh, give you, that they could have maybe made a different option for um, all of these. So they could have had one like this one. I don't think it really. I'll probably never pose her with this one because it basically looks just like this, just with, with a smirk. So um, they could have done like one that actually had the costume or the um, the cat uh, costume head off. And just had her hair which I think would have been cool because it would have followed kind of like the lines and give you the option like they did with the uh, Batman uh, that has the um, un uh, unmasked Bruce Wayne head so but uh, other than that I mean they look good and standard uh, prime one fashion the uh, translucent re resin looks uh, very nice and on these like little stands here you have like a little cat emblem on the back like I said before, these are very, very nice, and I wish that they would include these with uh, more of their pieces because it makes it so much easier to store uh, the head sculpts. So what I'm going to do now is actually switch out the portrait again to um, the uh, rubies or jewels. All right, so I switched it out again. This is the uh, exclusive head sculpt, and I've got her with the sapphire or the ruby um, jewel. Lady Mac keeps uh, making sure that I'm saying it right. Um, but this is a pretty cool pose. Um, I kind of like this too. So it's kind of just showing that she's just kind of ganked one of these rubies. <laughs> you know, Catwoman, she's uh, always down to take some things that don't belong to her, but that's cool. The um, pose on this, like I said, I like it because I really like the kind of outstretched hand and it kind of shows her claws, but you have the ruby, which you can switch out. Um, and then I have the exclusive head sculpt with the goggles and then the whip that's stationary, but which is sculpted, but very nice looking piece. And um, I'm digging this statue, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know this piece isn't new, and I'm not the first person to review it, of course, but you know me, I gotta throw my Mac style on it. So I also um, didn't include the um, Riddler bomb. So this is where you would put that. I do wanna say you wanna be careful with this, because like I said, this doesn't really hold on. Basically, the best way to, if you're going to use this, is to actually put it on the head sculpt on the bottom. Because if not, it's very prone to just falling. And if you break that, then that's going to be unfortunate. So kind of just like that, if you're going to use it. Now the police are coming to catch As we know in the game, the she had that on, and you will go to jail. Batman didn't, of course, do what he was supposed to do. And solve Riddler's puzzles. He was going to blow her head off. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, my overall thoughts on this piece. Um, on camera, I don't know if it picks it up. It's definitely got a um, very cool texture on the, um, the suit. I like it. Um, definitely worth a spot in the collection. Um, out of Catwoman's, this is 
not she's not one of my favorite characters, but I picked this up too because I kind of wanted to have uh, a lot of the characters out of the Arkham line. I'm not getting a lot, most of them, but uh, I figured I might as well have her uh, in the collection because I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, I do like Catwoman, but she's just not my favorite character. But I thought that if I had Batman, she should be up there as well. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for the end shots of the video where, of course, I always take some pics and you guys can jam out to some custom Mac beats courtesy of Chris Green. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you like these videos, share them with your friends, share them with your collecting buddies. And I appreciate that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. You have fallen into my trap. <laughs> Now the police are coming to catch you with all the evidence. You will go to jail and I will get rich. <laughs> <laughs> into my trap. <laughs>
Why, 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 why